Let's go back over and see what else they've got. So whenever you're using free show, you guys are getting an idea of the way that I think about it. And one of the first things you want to do after you get everything set up for your outputs, I would encourage you to identify what do you want the style of your particular shows to be? Okay. And they've selected, they want their audience display to show video, motion backgrounds, photo backgrounds. You can read it all there. Um, they've got song lyrics, graphic backgrounds, scripture verse references, Bible version references, all this kind of stuff. And they want it to look large and bold and they don't have any theme colors currently. That's great. Completely fine. What I would recommend for something like that is I would say go to GaryBJr.com and check out what is available there in terms of options for free downloads and paid downloads. So I will go to the products tab and you'll see all kinds of options for like templates and things like that. Okay. And so for you guys that are starting out, I would probably go to the beginning with free show option here and you'll see there's a free planning form. That's what we're looking at right now. This just kind of helps you organize your thoughts. Uh, and then the Bibles, you can download free Bibles here. Uh, we got the leaders starting guide. This actually, um, is uh, curated courses that are found online already on YouTube. And it just compiles them in a way that makes sense for you as a, a ministry leader. Uh, and then we've also got uh, all the things it includes, which is these two, these things here in terms of the, the, the templates that you, that we'll talk about the Bibles, uh, some other lower thirds and a quick tip guide. And that's down here as well. So you can get the quick tip guide separate if you want to. And then there's also a course, the No Nonsense Beginner's Guide to Free Show. All right. That's not free, but also this template guide here is not free as well, but it's a cool way and it gives you a new look for your slides as well. All right. Now, if you go back, we'll go back and we'll look and see what else is there for templates and, and, and things like that. So Free Show templates are here. And this is one that's pretty popular for a lot of people. They might want to get the transparent upper and lower thirds, which is a really popular one, along with the two scripture lower thirds. If you have a ministry that has that's multilingual, this might be helpful because maybe you do want to show two different languages at the same time. And you can do that with your scriptures or your Bibles. OK, and then we got the basic lower third template. This is one of the first templates that I made, and this one gives you a, a nice box for you to put your, your songs or your scriptures in, and you can download that as well, completely free. Now, with that being said, they want to create a plan that involves large, bold text, and um, let's set that up. In Free Show, what you would do is you would go back into um, your show, all right, and to create a style, the way it works is you need to go to the templates tab, okay? And the templates tab gives you an option to see default templates and they'll have this little shield icon on them. It's kind of like they're locked in and they're there ready to go. But you can also right click and customize those by just duplicating them, okay? If you want to, you can do that. But for this ministry, this big and bold might be all they need, all right? Now, here's the downside or the reason why you might want to duplicate it, because if I go here, you'll notice that all of a sudden. My verse got really big to where it filled up over the top and it's running over. All right. And now these are song templates. If I go to scriptures, let's see. We got a let's see. We got the regular scripture option here and notice how that one makes everything fit just fine. All right. I like the way that it feels and it fits perfectly fine for the audience to see it and read it along with the verse reference and um, the actual scripture reference as well. All right. And the Bible reference, I should say. Now, I've got that set up. If I want to lock this in to where I say, hey, every time I show a scripture, I want to use this particular template. That's where your styles come in. In the same way for your songs. If we go back and we want this particular uh, slide to be big, we can go to our songs, which is a fine way to do it, because right now everything went to the left alignment like it's actual text, like a scripture. But we don't want that for that one. So I can go down here and I can say, I want this to be big. I'm going to drag that onto there and it automatically makes it big. It makes it look like the template. And I can do the same thing with all these talking points because I've got a mixed bag. I've got scriptures and um, talking points in here. 
I would just drag the template that you want onto the slides that you want it on. However, if you don't want to do that, you can just have a whole show that's just all scriptures. And when you make a change, I'm going to go back over to my scripture templates. When you make a change, like let's say we wanted it to be all centered and big like this with the scripture at the bottom. I can select that and it made the change to it and it adjusted everything just by simply clicking the template. It'll save that for you. It automatically locks that in. Every time you open this show of Galatians chapter five, verses one through 26, it's going to always look like that. And you can just start showing it. Everything is centered and your reference is down at the bottom and it's pretty small text. But if you say, you know what? I want everything to be like this, where everything's left aligned and it looks like that. You can do that as well and everything will adjust. All right. If you go over here to the third one and you say, I want it to be big, it automatically does the same thing. It'll adjust. So you don't need to worry about them uh, having to be individually adjusted. It'll automatically adjust. If you just click on a template down here, it'll change the entire show. When you have a show like I created that has different things, you can drag your templates on to the individual slides you want to if you have time to do that. All right. This is where you want to make sure, in my eyes at least, it's helpful to have all your scriptures in one place in terms of one show and all your other slides, songs and things like that as their own separate shows. And then you can navigate and customize each one to be a little bit different if you want to with different backgrounds and things like that. Now, let's talk about this to where we understand exactly what we want. So they, we know they want big songs. We've got a default one here that's just called Big Bold. And we know they want big scriptures, but we like this left align. So let's go back into our settings and we're going to go to um, we, we got our default right now as our output style, but we're going to make a new style. And this new style, we're going to call it um, new. We're going to call it default. I'm going to call it default training for now. And I just clicked at the bottom for a new style and it gives you a pop up to select if you want that style to be a normal or a live style. Right. We're doing this as a normal style, which is not a live live streaming style. This is going to be just for in-house. All right. And so it defaults to having a black background. You can make that be any color you want to. I would recommend black because black, when you make it say clear all, it looks like it's completely empty. OK, instead of you having to stop presenting, it'll just look like you stopped presenting on your own. And then we've got the background media. You can choose a logo or something like that. If you wanted to transitions, you can go in there. You can make that be different transitioning your text and or your media completely separate. And for me, I turn it off for my in and out. And then for the between, you can do a fade if you like that. And then for the media, I can I, would, I don't mind keeping that just like it is. And I would just turn it up to be like at a one. And the same way for these, uh, for the transition, for the between, we'll make it be a little bit slower. We'll make it be at a one, okay? Now let's see what that would look like. If I were to go here and notice the text, it doesn't transition at all. It's just changing which is what we want. And we're just looking up there to see how it changes. Okay. But I'm gonna go back to my settings and we're going to look at this style and we've got the default training. It, the media is set in a certain way to where it will be designed to contain. If you plan to use a lot of images and you want to drop those images in and not have to worry about showing the edges of the screen or the edges of the screen being exposed or the media, the, the picture being too small and not filling the screen, then I would recommend you do a blur feel. Because it will contain your image. It won't make it run over the edge. It'll show the entire image, but then any parts that are not filling the screen, it'll just expand it and blur to make it fill the whole screen so you don't see anything behind it. All right. These other options are there as well. If you know they're going to be helpful for you, you can do that. This one kind of stretches the image to fill it. And then this one covers it by expanding the image to make it bigger to make sure that it fills the entire screen. All right. And if you're not concerned about it running over, I would recommend the cover or the blur feel. All right. And then you got your aspect ratio. This is just a default option to be set to 16 by nine, which is the way that most TVs, whether they're HD or 4K, this is just how they're set up. You might have a unique situation, though, so you can change it to be any of these other aspect ratios based on the screens that you're using. Maybe it's some 
unique custom LED screens or something like that. You can pick that here as well. And you can even change the position to be um, in different places, center and or start or end and things like that. All right. And let's see here. We could go back out and we're going to look at the next option, which are active layers for your in-house slides. You want all the layers to be active. All right. That includes the background, that includes the slide, and that includes the overlays. These are all different facets that stack on top of each other. So your backgrounds are the base, and then your slides go on top of the background, and then your overlays go on top of everything, okay? And, and that's in an order of, if you're using any of these three different options, that's how they'll stack up automatically for you. And then max lines per slide is an option. I would just keep it at the default, which shows all lines, but... This comes in handy if you're doing some type of lower thirds or something like that, and you don't want it to be too many words, too many lines in there. You can set it to be a two um, or three maybe, but it's completely up to you. I would keep it at the default. But this part for the slide, override slide with a template. This has to do with your presentations and your songs and things like that. I would say we make an override to say, I want it to all look the same. And we want it to all look big and bold. So I'm gonna say big and bold here because they said they want everything to be big and bold. And then the override scripture with the template, I'm going to select that because I want all of my scriptures to look unified as well. And I'm going to be looking for, this is a big no box. This is a big uh, no box too. This is a little bit bigger actually. And I'm just looking, it's got a scripture reference and it's got the text that'll be big there. All right. And if we go down, we'll see, these are all in alphabetical order. These are a bunch of different templates that I've made myself. And you can customize and make your own templates as well. But you also can get some of these from my website that, we, that I showed you earlier. All right. And then we got the default one here. This is called scripture. Okay. And that one is going to be fine for now. So we'll select that and we'll scroll back up and we'll close this out. And so we got our scripture set up and that's that. And then let's go back over. Let's look and see if this is a multilingual church. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. It says, what languages do you typically speak during service? It's Spanish. So they're just speaking one language. So they don't need multiple verse or multiple scripture um, versions, I should say, like English and Spanish. They're just saying they just speak one language. So that's fine. Um, we don't need to make any changes. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope it helped you in a major way. Now, at this point, most people would ask you to like and subscribe, and I think that's great, but my goal is a little bit different. My goal is to empower as many people as possible all over the globe, and there's one way that you can really help me do that, and that is to leave a comment below with a question, a thought, uh, how this video may have helped you, or things that were left out that you still have questions about, and to share this video with someone just like you, someone who is looking for answers, someone who's curious and wants to grow. With your help, I believe we can build a community of people that want to grow together. So until next time, God bless.